we're going to look to the Lord in prayer. We see what is happening all around us. In our nation. We are just part of the body of Christ. And we are going to pray this morning. Consecrate our lives again to him and seek the Lord on behalf of other persons. Let us pray for the one who will. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for life. We thank you, Lord, for another day. We thank you again for another privilege you have given unto us. And we can come to gather in your house to worship you, to look to you. Hallelujah. Your word declared that great is your faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. And so as we come today, pray for you to stand by us again another time. Lord, we realize that without you, we can't make it. Hallelujah. And so as we come today, Lord, we invite your Holy Spirit among us. We ask that you may tabernacle with us. You ask, Lord, itself may be slain and you will be glorified. And so today, wash us, cleanse us one more time. Your word declare, we create a clean heart within me. Take that my Holy Spirit away, but restore unto us the joy of our salvation. Lord, we pray for this congregation. We pray for our nation. We pray for our leaders. Mighty God, we realize what is happening in our nation. Hallelujah. We need your intervention. Hallelujah. The military, the police, they can't contain what is happening around us. So we're seeking after you this morning. Hallelujah. That you hallelujah, will intervene in the, in the lives and the hearts of this nation, your people. Hallelujah. To transform lives. Oh God. Realizing that, oh God, each day we go by, so many persons dying, children. All over this nation, my God, but we're looking to you today, oh God, for your divine direction. Bless us, we pray, as we come to this service, whatever we do, let you be glorified, let you be praised, as we honor and praise you now, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord praise. Come on, give the Lord a mighty shout of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Over to our moderator, Sister Nelson. Let's praise the Lord, brethren. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I am Gerline Nelson, your moderator. I will now invite the praise team to come and sing. Praise team, please come. Thank you, Sister Nelson. Let me say good morning to everyone. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Hallelujah. We are about to begin our praise and worship. The whole reason we are here, as the scripture says, I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving in my heart and into his courts with praise. We serve a God who is worthy of all the praise, all the glory. He's the same God yesterday, and he's the same God that we serve today, and he is an awesome, a miracle-working God. Hallelujah. This morning, I will just read Joshua chapter 10, verse 10, 11, and 14. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Horon, and smote them to Ezekiel and unto Makeda. 
And it came to pass as they fled from before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Horon that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. They were more that died with hailstones than they whom the, the children of Israel slew with the sword. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of, the, of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Shall we worship God? Shall we worship the Lord? We worship the same God who still fights for us. He still fights our battles. Hallelujah. And this morning we are here. Our desire should be to worship him because he's worthy. I'm going to invite you to stand. Our desire this morning should be unto the Lord. As the word says, one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. He's worthy of our praise this morning. As we come, we want to give him all our worship because he deserves our praise. This morning as we worship, we pray that all our, our challenges, our situations will bow in the presence of the mighty God and he will fight for us because our desire is unto him. Amen. Shall we worship the Lord? Praise God. This is my desire to honor you. Holy Lord, my heart, I worship
Shall we worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands and say hallelujah. hallelujah. If God is worthy, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If God has been good to you, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, we bless you this morning. He is a good God. Hallelujah. His name is excellent. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. You were the word. Jesus. Hallelujah. You were the word. You didn't want to be without us. So Jesus, you were. Great, your love is greater. What could separate us from what a wonderful day it is? What a wonderful day it is. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful day it is. 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 That could not hold you. The fate of before you. The silence, the most of sin and grace. The heavens are holy. The praise of the Lord you. Yours is the kingdom. Yours 
we can stand again. What a powerful name it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship. Let's call the name of Jesus. Let me hear you shout Jesus. When you say Jesus, nothing happens. But let me hear you call the name of Jesus. Shout the name of Jesus. Shout the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is powerful. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. When we call the name of Jesus, miracles happen. When we call the name of Jesus, something must happen. Let me hear the people of God shout Jesus. Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Call the name with assurance. Hallelujah. Jesus, his name is powerful. At his name, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. The name of Jesus, it's a beautiful name. It's an excellent name. It's a powerful name. Hallelujah. We worship them this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not on our own. We have a God who stands by us. His name is Jehovah. Hallelujah. His name is great. His name is excellent. His name is mighty. His name is awesome. Hallelujah. And there is none like him this morning. And that is the God we seek to adore and exalt and worship this morning. Hallelujah. We do this song, Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah is worthy. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name.
is indeed exalted. He is a mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 We exalt your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are our God. You are with us. You promise you will never leave us, nor forsake us. And we thank you that you are faithful. Oh God, when we fail, you never fail. Hallelujah. You are faithful. We thank you. You are the same God. Yesterday, you fought for the Israelites. And you are the same God that fights my battles. You are the same God that gives us the victory. We have the victory in the name of Jesus. We have the victory through the blood of Jesus. We overcome by the blood of Jesus. We overcome with the word of our testimonies. Hallelujah. We are victorious. We are more than conquerors. We let the devil know this morning we are overcomers. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God is a good God. God is a good God. God is an excellent God. God is a faithful God. God is a merciful God. Hallelujah. We bless you this morning, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. All the other gods, they are the works of men. You are the most high God. There is none like you. All the other gods, they are the works of men. You are the most high God. There is none, there is none like you. You are the most Oh, my God. 
Thank you, Sister Rob and others. Thank you, Praise Team. Surely, God's presence is in this place. I can feel His presence in this place. I can see His blessings in each face. Praise God. We are here today to worship and to adore Him. The worship team have done so much for us this morning. I believe our souls must be revived. I believe we are together as one big family. Let us worship God today in spirit and in truth. Today is pastoral care service. And I'm asking Sister Jean to come and pray for us before we go further with the service. Thank you. Let us stand. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. We exalt your mighty name this morning. Hallelujah. God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before your holy presence. God, I give you praise and glory and honor. 
You are worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same God. Your name is to be praised. You have been good to us. God, you have woken us up this morning. You clothed us in our right mind. God, you protected us on our journey. Lord God, here we are in your presence, your people who are called by your name. God, you have, you have loved us with such a great love that God, while we were still in sin, you died for us. And this morning we come because God, you have been good to us. And we come with our mouths, God, filled with praise. We come with our hearts, God, lifted up before you to exalt you. Lord, as we worship you, I pray you will inhabit our praise. I pray you will come and dwell among us. Father, when you come, I pray you'll come with miracles. You are the God of miracles, the God of deliverance, the God of healing. Father, we look to you. You are our strength, our peace, our joy. You are our comforter. Lord, there is none like you this morning. Oh God, we look to you. Our hope is in you. God, we look around us and sometimes everything seems so hopeless. But God, we look to you, our strength, our hill. Oh God, from whence cometh our help. God, sometimes we don't know what to do. But like Jehoshaphat this morning, our eyes are upon you. God, we pray you will lead us by your spirit. Lord, I pray God for all the members of the pastoral team. God, I pray you will strengthen them. I pray you will anoint them. Use them for your glory. God, I pray you will help them to minister to the sheep that they have been given. That those who are weak will be encouraged and restored in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for backsliders this morning that they will return to the fold. I pray for the sinners, God, in this community, in our homes, oh God, in our nation. Father, I pray you touch their hearts. Remove the heart of stone, God, and give them a heart of flesh that man will surrender to you and know that you are God. You are the God of Daniel. God, you are the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, a powerful God. Lord God, we are not on our own. We are not any weaklings, but we are more than conquerors through you. This morning, God, I pray there'll be a shift in the atmosphere, God, that you'll come and you'll change situations. You'll change circumstances. God of heaven, I pray you'll restore. I pray you'll redeem us. Oh God, and draw us, oh God, from the hand of the enemy. Lord God, whatever the enemy meant for bad, I pray you turn it around for your good, that you will be glorified. Father in heaven, I pray you'll minister to every heart, minister to every need in your house. God, meet them where they are. Whatever it is, let them know you will supply. Your hands are not short, that you cannot save. Your ears are not heavy. Hear us this morning. Forgive our sins. Wash us and cleanse us in your blood. Purify us, God. Make us whole. Make us whiter than snow. God, take the leadership of the church. Take the leadership, oh God, of our nation. Oh God, we need you. Lord God, I pray that you will lead and direct them. Lord, in the spiritual and in the natural. Lord, I pray for advisors and counselors who will give the right counsel. Lord, we look to you. In our own strength, we are failures. But with you, all things are possible. With you, we are mighty and we can stand in the name of Jesus. Help us to stand, God, in the liberty where you have made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Minister to our heart. Father, I pray for the one who will be bringing the word, our pastor, that you will give him a word from you, that he will speak and say, God, I pray you anoint him afresh from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, that he will minister to your people, oh God, to their situation and their circumstance, and they'll testify that God, you delivered again. Have your way there with us today. Lead us by your spirit. Oh, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory. You are worthy. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Jean. Let's praise the Lord. Our first lesson will be taken from 
Exodus chapter 18, verses 13 to 26. And this will be reading by Sister Samantha. Sister Samantha. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to ask you to stand. Our morning's lesson is taken from Exodus 18, and I'll be reading from verse 13 to 23. And it reads thus. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood by Moses from the morning unto the evening. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the people? Why sittest thou thyself alone? And all the people stand by thee from morning unto even. And Moses said unto his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of God, when they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and another. And I do make them know the statutes of God and his laws. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt surely wear away, both thou and this people that is with thee. For this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel, and God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to Godward, that thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shalt shew them the way wherein they must walk and the work they must do. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, eight in covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee. But every small matter they shall judge, so shall it be easier for thyself, and they shall bear the burden with thee. If thou shalt do this thing, and, com and God commanded thee so, then thou shalt be able to endure, and all his people shall also go to their place in peace. So Moses hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. And Moses chose able men out of, all his, out of all Israel and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of ten. Twenty-six and last. And they judged the people at all seasons. The hard causes they brought unto Moses, but every small matter they judged themselves. The end of the reading of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, This is the word of the Lord. I now invite our PRO to come and give the welcome and announcement. Galatians 6 verse 2 says, Carry each other's burden, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Good morning, everyone. I am Kahari Blair, and I wel and welcome or welcome back to another pastoral care service here at the Lima Church of God of Prophecy. 
First, let me welcome our pastor, Pastor Michael A. Robinson and his family, his wife, Sister Jean Robinson, and their sons, Michael and Justin Robinson. Welcome to our viewers online and also to our members and visiting friends. Thank you for joining us in worship today, and we hope that you will enjoy the rest of the service. Special welcome to Emerse Vaughan's Sister Monica and Sister Lucky Lynn. We're happy to have you here and thank you all for joining us this morning. By way of announcement, the Church of God of Prophecy Western Region Youth and Young Adult Ministry presents Ignite, an, worship, an event of prayer, praise, and the word. The speaker of the night will be lay minister Lay Minister Daniel Smith, who is the Yaya Parish Director for Chilani, and this event, event will be held at the Montego Bay Church of God of Prophecy on the 2nd of July, and it starts at 4.30 p.m. and ends at 7.30 p.m. ICWI has, par has partnered with Church of God of Prophecy to give you a special discount on your car insurance. You get remarkable savings just by being a member of the Church of God of Prophecy, and you will receive up to 40% discount. The Adelphi Church of God, the Adelphi Jamaica Bible Church, will be having their annual building funds rally on the 3rd of July, starting at 6 p.m., and they are asking that we come prepared with an item. The Dumfries Gospel Tabernacle Deliverance Center is inviting us to join them in, in their sacrifice of praise. It will be held on the 3rd of July, starting at 6.30 p.m. The entrance fee for adults is $500 and $300 for children under 12. And they are looking forward to a loved gift followed by an item. And also today is Baritone's Rally. So please make an effort to attend. God bless you all. I'll now turn over back to our moderator. Thank you, Jesus. We'll now continue our worship by the singing of hymn number 85 from Urbana in Nile. Bring them in. I ask the priest team to come and start and we join in. Heart is the shepherd's voice I hear Out in the desert's dark and drear Calling the sheep who've gone astray Far from the shepherd's voice away Bring them in Let's 
God again. The more we praise him, the more the blessings come down. Thank you. The second lesson will be taken from St. Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 46. And this will be read by your stool. Please stand. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall he gather all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning from the foundation of the world. For I was an hungered, and he gave me meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me in. Naked, and he clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. I was in prison, and he came unto me. Then shall the righteous Answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we an hunger, and fed thee, and thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, and in prison, and we came unto thee? And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Well, I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it, unto the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say it also to them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was an hungered, and he gave me no meat. I was thirsty, he gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and he took me not in. Naked, and he clothed me not. Sit and in prison, and he visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an hungered, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them and say, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as he did it not to one of the least of these, he did it not to me. And we shall go away into everlasting punishment and the righteousness into life eternal. This is the word of the Lord. At this time, we are going to collect the tithes and offering. And I'm going to ask Sister 
Hot trees of big furnish here. Please come and minister to us. And while she's singing, Sister Murray will collect the offering and tithes and also ask God's blessings on it. Thank you. Living in a cold, dark world Where evolution is taught by man They took prayer out of school And violence filled our land They have ordered the Ten Commandments To be removed from out of sight but one question I would like to ask them What's wrong with living right? What's wrong with living right? Can anybody tell me? I'm doing what I know Living for Jesus is the way, the truth. I'm not going where I shouldn't go. I'm serving Jesus with all my might. Can anybody tell me what's wrong with living right? You may think that I'm strange for living the way I do. Different from this world, I say, oh, all true. Call me crazy or insane. Or even tell me I'm not right. For one question, I would like to ask you what's wrong with living right? What's wrong with living right? Can anybody tell me? Doing what I know to do. I'm living for Jesus, is the way the truth. I'm not going where I shouldn't go. I'm serving Jesus with all my might. Can anybody tell me? What's wrong with living right? What's wrong with living right? Can anybody tell me? I'm doing what I know to do. I'm living for Jesus is the way, the truth. Going where I shouldn't go. I'm serving Jesus with all my mind. Can anybody tell me 
What's wrong with living right? I'm not going where I shouldn't go. I'm serving Jesus with all my mind. Can anybody tell me what's wrong with living right? Let us pray. Our Father God, we thank you for today. Thank you for the beginning of another new week as we gather in your house to worship and to praise you. We thank you for your mercy and we thank you for your grace. And Father God, as we present this offering to you, which is a portion of our labor, I pray God that you will bless it, sanctify it, that is used to your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's praise the Lord again, brethren. I'm now inviting the choir to come and minister to us.
It was a great thing that Jesus did for me. When I was not thinking of him, he was thinking of me. He took my sins and he nailed them on the cross with him. Thanks be to God, I am free. Who the Son set free is free indeed. And you all who are worshiping him in spirit and in truth can say, Who the Son set free is free. Indeed. Thank you, choir. I will now want all of the band leaders, the, the care group leaders, to stand and we are going to pray for our pastor who will be coming with the word. Pastor Michael Robinson, the host pastor of Lima Church of God of Prophecy. Please stand, all care group leaders, and pray. All care group leaders, please stand and pray. Father, we stretch our hands to thee. No other help we know. If you should draw yourself from us, to whom would we go? Here's our pastor. Oh God, at this moment we are asking you to bless him, to anoint him, to energize him, and to grant him, yes, God, favors with your words, that when you put forth your words, it will come like armor. To the bone, to the head, to the heart, to the soul, to the mind, and souls will be saved for your coming kingdom. I pray God that you just bless him continuously. Help him, just God, that you will put forth the words so that each and every one will be glad and say it was good for us to be here. The spoken words. We will now have the spoken word by our host pastor, Pastor Michael A. Robinson, shepherd of the flock of Church of God of Prophecy in Lima. Please stand. And I will so present to you Pastor Michael Robinson, care of the Holy Ghost. Thank you very much. I found and served. I've learned to pray. With faith to guide me along the way, the sun is shining. I found the answer, and I've learned to pray. I've found the answer. I've learned to pray with faith to God me along the The sun is shining on each day. I found the answer. I've learned to pray. 
kita si sewas takian lah. Tuh, terhad tuh, kau kau ibadu bersih ini nasin. That means that expect the living, the body of Christ, to sin and to give God glory and to give God praise. So sinners have an expectation of the believers, uh, even to sing to let them hear our voices. Uh, so we have a voice in this world. Uh, we have a voice uh, in this land. Uh, oh God. Come on, somebody! The body of Christ of a voice uh, in this community. I believe that the church of the biggest voice and the loudest voice uh, in this nation is not the politician. It is the church uh, of the living God. Uh, I want us to understand that when I say the church of the living God, we have the loudest voice. And we must begin to allow people to hear us. Amen, somebody? I want to preach in a while. Give me a few minutes. Let me do some stuff here. It hurts to the bone. Real hurt to the bone. For the core of this nation, when somebody can look at a baby less than a year and pop the throat of that child, it is very, very dangerous. We are on sleepy sleep. Amen. I'm going to preach, you know. But listen to me, folks. If you continue. Like this, I said to somebody, how many persons have been left in this nation? Because the heart of men becomes desperately wicked. But the church of the answer, because the answer is in Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. Touch yourself and say, we have the answer. Amen, somebody. We have the answer. Because it becomes cowards and keep silent. All that is happening in this country, but it's for another time and season. But we must know that God will serve, will deliver. Amen, somebody. That God will serve, will come true. Amen. Amen. And so this morning we must continue to look to God, Hallelujah, to to to, to, to save this nation. I always said, if God save Nineveh, can save Jamaica. If God save Nineveh, He can rescue us. Turn your Bibles with me now. I'm gonna speak just a little from Acts chapter eight. Just a little continuation from last week, but I'm going to read four verses. Let me read five. And as for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house, and all the men and women committed them to prison. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad. Then everyone preached the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things of which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Verse 7 says, for unclean spirit cry with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsy, and that were lame were healed. So the church has power in every situation. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
I find it strange that Philip could have run down to Samaria and begin to preach. Now Philip was a companion of Stephen, one of the seven deacons. And you know when you when, 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 when you, you go into a school or, or an organization with a, a, a set of people who you come in together with, you have a more bonding. Amen, somebody. So I believe that Philip had a special bonding with Stephen as a deacon in the church. I believe that after they stole Stephen to death, while Philip was running away to a place to save his life, I believe that his mind was, he was reflecting on the death of his companion. I believe he was reflecting on how the life of Stephen was shut out. I believe in my spirit that he was saying to himself, why are we serving God in this season? Hello, somebody. I believe he was saying that the church has lost favor with God. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I believe that the same thing is happening today in our nation. People are asking, where is God? Hallelujah. Uh, I believe that they're saying to us as a body of Christ, where is your God? But I want somebody to understand uh, that God remained the same, uh, the same yesterday, uh, today, uh, and forevermore. Uh, he's the same deliverer, uh, the same savior. Hallelujah. God cannot change. God cannot lie. He's the same. And we say it's going to come true. He's going to come true for us. Hello. Oh. On all this, in the Old Testament, the last book, there was a time to send Matthew a 400 year period when God did not speak to man. Hello. God is not a man is keeper. But God did not talk to man. God allowed man to function. Uh, oh, hallelujah. To do his own thing. Uh, when we reject God, uh, God allows us uh, to do our own thing uh, until we turn uh, to him. Uh, somebody preached with me a little here. I said when the nation, uh, hallelujah, reject God, we are left on our own. Oh, you don't hear me, somebody. You don't hear me, somebody. Hallelujah. So man rejected God. So God stepped out uh, and said, I'm giving you space. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. But after 400 years, God intervened. Uh, I believe uh, that God is about uh, to intervene uh, in Jamaica. Uh, I believe uh, what the devil is doing. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he's lighting up fire. Uh, but I know God. Uh, hallelujah. He's a God of the wind. Uh, he's a God of the rain. Uh, he's a God of fire. Uh, I believe God uh, is about uh, to intervene. Somebody shout it. So God turn up. When he turn up, hallelujah, in St. Matthew, uh, he went, uh, he sent Gabriel, his angel, uh, to Mary, uh, hallelujah, uh, and she cried out, uh, 
and your favor when the angel told her that she is gonna conceive and bring forth a child to say good it unto the Lord. Somebody to cry out this morning and say good unto the Lord. You are going to your struggles, you are going to your difficulties. You hallelujah, you are saying to yourself, it's time to give up. But I want to challenge you this morning. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. The creator of your life. Be thank to be Lord. Because my darkest day is over. Hello, church of the living God. Give me a few minutes. 400 years. God sent for this son, hallelujah, conceive uh, in the womb of a woman, uh, hallelujah, uh, sent for this son uh, after 400 years, uh, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm talking about the time uh, when he split with human, uh, but I want somebody to know, uh, he's sending his spirit uh, to your heart, uh, he's sending his spirit uh, to your home, uh, he's sending his spirit uh, to your family, uh, my God, my God, uh, he's going to come to So he steps. Saul was walking in houses, in the temple, pulling out men and women. When you call on the name of Jesus, uh, are you with somebody? Uh, when you call on the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah. Uh, he said, no, 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 no. Uh, don't call that name. Uh, they tell the disciples, don't call that name. Uh, don't speak in that name. Uh, hello, church of the living God. I want somebody to understand. Uh, when they tell you, don't call the name of Jesus, uh, it's the best time to call his name. Uh, when they try to push you down, uh, to persecute you, say, don't pray uh, in that name. Uh, don't call that name. Uh, that is what is happening to this nation. People say, Don't call uh, on the name of Jesus. Uh, but I come to call his name uh, because his name is powerful. Uh, his name is wonderful. Uh, hello, church. Uh, his name is wonderful. Uh, somebody shout it wonderful. Uh, shout it wonderful. Uh, Jesus is to me. Uh, he's a mighty God. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, He's a prince of peace. He's the everlasting father. He is my counselor. His name is wonderful. Somebody shout it. Wonderful. So he was putting men and women into prison. Don't call on the name of Jesus. But this morning, I want us to understand, hallelujah, the name of Jesus. It's a suffering name. The name of Jesus. It's a saving name. The name of Jesus is a healing name. Come on, church of the living God. Get that in your spirit. When you call on the name of Jesus, he will heal you. Hello, church. Hello. The truth is, go to your doctor when you're sick. This man not tell anybody to go doctor. Or the wrong. But when you start to call on the name of Jesus, Jesus will answer. Come on, somebody. I say, when you call on the name of Jesus, I make a statement yesterday, you know. I, 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 I'm going to make it again because a few people said there's a young lady I know work at the airport of cancer and she has cancer sick but she's still at work but yesterday morning and someone was making an accident on the road the car was flipping through when I see the video and the sun died oh my god are you with somebody when 
chance of it choke uh, the whole person we can lean on sometimes uh, is Jesus. Uh, when you're going to your father, uh, the only person uh, you can lean on is Jesus. Uh, hello, somebody here. Uh, can I talk to somebody up here? Uh, when we come up to church, uh, this is a place of deliverance. Uh, this is a place of praise. Uh, this is a place of worship. Uh, hallelujah. This is a place uh, where you give God praise. Uh, sometimes uh, when you go, uh, go out to praise God, uh, when you don't have any help, uh, but when you come up here, uh, oh hallelujah, somebody try with me, uh, and give God, uh, and my prayer, oh mama shock, what did they say? Somebody shouted, uh, if you want uh, to see uh, the glory uh, of God, uh, why won't you open uh, the mouth and praise him? Uh, hello, somebody, uh, can I preach up here? Uh, the children of Israel, uh, while they were going to the wilderness journey. I, uh, Miriam, uh, get ourselves a tambourine. Uh, I believe that there are some other musician. Uh, my God, uh, while they were going through, uh, they had no good drinking water. Uh, they had no shelter. Uh, my God, uh, but all they have uh, is a God uh, who will protect them. Uh, a God uh, who will protect them uh, from the lion, uh, from the bears. Uh, from my God, my God, uh, from the Hittite, uh, from the Jezebite, uh, it's the same God, uh, he will protect you. Uh, he will. It's the same God. It's the same God. Bring them to it is here, God. Bring them to. Hallelujah. When they were trying to destroy them, it is here, God. Hallelujah. It is the same God. When they reach the Red Sea, how many persons this morning to reach the Red Sea? It's the same God. The place is the same God. Uh, when they reach the Red Sea, uh, Philip reaches Red Sea, uh, start to run away uh, from Jerusalem, uh, to run into Samaria, for uh, safety. Uh, but I tell somebody, uh, when God pull you out, uh, He's going to protect you. Uh, he pulled the children of Israel uh, out of slavery, uh, and He bring them on a path uh, of deliverance, uh, a path of provision, uh, a path of miracles. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Philip was running, but the children of Israel was not running. But when you look behind them, while you're on the journey, because when God promises something, it doesn't matter what kind of danger, it no matter which head, it no matter which pillows they rule, it doesn't matter which stones, category of five, four, two, one, I don't care. It don't, I don't care if God control everything around us. The Bible says that when they look behind them, they could not see the Egyptian, but they could hear the mighty chariots coming. They could see the dust rising up. How many persons here this morning that dust is rising up around you? But they have a God can sprinkle the dust, a God who can control the dust, a God who can bring you comfort. Somebody praise him, God. Can I tell you something? When God gives you power, he will not take it from you. When God authorizes you to do something, he don't come back and say, give it back to me. He authorizes you to do it. To the children of Israel, cry out and say, Moses, you carry us to die. Moses said, God is not my fault. 
it's your fault. But the Bible said, we look unto heaven. From where it's coming to hell. Earth coming from God. God made heaven and earth. And then God turned back and said, no. It's not my fault. I have given you authority. You have power in your hand. Tell your neighbor you have power in your hand. Oh God Almighty, sometimes you don't understand. And when you get it in the spirit, the Bible says, if any among you are sick, begin to pray. You have authority to pray. Lay your hands on yourself. Speak from your life. Don't worry. Don't give up. Can I preach up in here? Give me a few more minutes to preach up here. Hello, church. My God, my God. It's a Moses. What is that in your hand? That same old piece of dry stick you have. Walking in the wilderness, guiding the sheep. But the beauty about this, can I tell you something? God said you have to run. You run mean. Oh God, you're a shepherd. To lead my people. Hallelujah to the promised land. But I give you power. Inside your hand. God says, stretch your hand, Moses. Across the Red Sea. When Moses stretches his hand, the Red Sea back up. Roll over. Tell somebody the Red Sea can roll over in front of your presence. Anybody understand what I'm talking about? I'm talking about not that red sea over there. The red sea right here in the line, right here in the church. You need to stretch out your hand and look in your hand. Yeah, ha. I tell it in your hand. Samantha, stand up with me a little bit. I know you like come when they talk to you sometimes. Because you feel something will happen. But I declare over your life. Something will happen. Hallelujah. Your red skin shall part spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you the spirit of evangelism. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare uh, upon you uh, the spirit uh, of evangelism uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive uh, a double portion uh, of the anointing. Hey, you come on, Santa. Yes, I release upon you the spirit of evangelism, the same spirit which upon Philip, I release it over you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, out of your bed. Every fear, uh, every doubt, I curse it. Uh, I drive out fear, uh, I drive out doubt uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. So the Bible says when Philip went down to Samaria, that the body of Christ must understand that Samaria was a forbidden place. Hello, church of the living God. A forbidden place 
for the Jews, for the Jews, I'm not dealing with the Samaritans. Can I preach up here a little bit? My God, but Philip, once Jesus said, You will see me now, and you're not going to see me again. The Pharisees said, Where is he going to go? Are he going, he's going to go down to Samaria because of Jesus is ruling the God of Samaria. They wouldn't look forward to crucifying him because they would not go down there because they have no dealing. Some of us have some Samaritans up here in Lima who are not dealing with. But you got to go down to your Samaria. You got to walk to your Samaria and talk to your Samaria. Preach to your Samaritans. Am I making sense up here? This is pastoral to your Sunday. Can I talk to somebody? There's some folks who you think know God, that Jesus will love them. Can you put them out here and find them? You know, something about the church, be careful of what you ask, sir. Tell your neighbor, be careful of what you ask, sir. Hallelujah. So, Samaria, me, Jesus, tell your neighbor that your neighbor, your community, me, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, the Bible said, Philip begin to preach. Hallelujah. And everybody uh, in Samaria uh, begin to listen. Uh, hello, Church of the Living God. The people with one accord uh, begin to listen. Uh, just say, when you're coming out, uh, or maybe you're, you're in a situation uh, where you can't get out by yourself, uh, when you hear somebody with a word, uh, what you leave you out, uh, you will draw to that word. Uh, you got to understand uh, that Simon had been bound up uh, and tied up. Uh, they could not do nothing else uh, but pay homage to him. Uh, whatsoever he asks for, uh, they have to give it to him. Uh, but when the word of God comes, uh, it comes to change life. Uh, for the word of God uh, is powerful uh, and sharper uh, than any two-edged sword. Uh, so the word uh, of God uh, came to the Samaritans uh, that salvation will come uh, to the Gentiles uh, because they are not different uh, from the Jews. Uh, we are one blood. Uh, it's the same blood. Uh, the same blood. Uh, one true pain. Uh, so Philip, uh, we need to preach to them. Uh, they listen. Uh, they heard the word. Uh, they have seen signs. Uh, they have seen miracles. Uh, when the word of God comes, uh, it brings signs. Give me a few more minutes few more minutes. So the word said, hallelujah, that when he begin to preach, and they hear, and see, all the miracles which he did, but until his spirit begin to cry out. Tell your neighbor, unclean spirit, in a Jamaica need to cry out. Unclean spirit, in Lima need to cry out. And clean spirit uh, in our homes uh, need to cry out. Uh, are you so much unclean spirit? Uh, need to cry out. Tell me uh, what is unclean spirit? Uh, oh, Ali, these are the calling angels. Uh, came down with the devil. Uh, they can multiply. Uh, they will nearly see him. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that's what the Bible says. Uh, the angel of the Lord uh, and trampled uh, down a day for them uh, that believe. Uh, if you're a believer, a blood washer. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord will encamp around you. The angel of the Lord will protect you. Glory, 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 glory to God. An unclean spirit. Keep on crying out. Are you somebody? They came out of 
many. Uh, those who are sick with fits, we call it in Jamaica. Let me tell you, we call it fits. Uh, so you have some folks, uh, they're just walking on the road, uh, and all of a sudden, uh, you see them drop on the ground, uh, and you yell, somebody say, take off his shoes, take off his shoes. Uh, hello, somebody, I put it my nose. Uh, when Jesus comes, uh, that tempest power uh, is broken. Uh, when Jesus comes, uh, he said, I can't be free. Uh, when Jesus comes, uh, miracle comes. Uh, when Jesus comes, uh, healing comes. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, when Jesus comes into town, uh, that tempest power uh, is broken uh, over the community, uh, over your life. Uh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. The lame begin to walk. Healing miracles. And the Bible says, and joy came into that city. When anyway Jesus turned up, joy come. But the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. And with joy I draw from the way of salvation. Hold on, preacher. Hold on, pastor. If a Christian will have joy, then he can do no joy. Look at your neighbor and say, oh, neighbor. If you're a believer and you don't have no joy, you can't draw. And I mean, say that the Bible says, with joy, strength, and with joy, the draw from the well of salvation. So, joy that you can't draw, pull out your healing. I'm your second of joy, 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 joy in the Lord. Joy. Joy in the Holy Ghost. Are you sick? You don't want to come in and say joy. Uh, because it's that joy uh, is going to pull my miracle. Uh, it's that joy uh, is going to pull my healing. Uh, joy came into the city uh, of Samaria. Uh, and men and women uh, give their life to Jesus. Uh, and they were baptized. Uh, when joy comes, uh, the Holy Ghost uh, is here. Uh, but the Bible said when the joy came, uh, men and women give their life to Jesus Christ. Uh, and when, hallelujah, uh, joy Jerusalem heard uh, that Samaria uh, received the word uh, that Bible says uh, that they sent down Peter uh, and John because they did not receive uh, the Holy Ghost uh, as yet uh, when joy comes in the church uh, people are baptized with the Holy Ghost uh, like the church of the living God uh, can I tell you uh, when joy comes in your life uh, you will open your mouth uh, and speak in tongues uh, you will open your mouth uh, and speak in a language uh, Wow, he said, when the joy came, huh? Peter and John came down. And the Bible says, <laughs> when he came down, they did not receive the Holy Ghost as yet. Huh? But when I tell you huh, that there's something in your hands, huh? there's power in your hands, huh? there's an anointing in your hand. Huh? So, oh, hallelujah. Huh? Hope you said, there's an anointing in my hands. Huh? Hallelujah. For Jesus said, these signs huh? shall follow them huh? that believe. Huh? They shall lay hands uh, on the sick, uh, and they shall recover. Uh, that means something special uh, is in your hand. Uh, come on, church of the living God. Uh, use up your hand uh, to bless somebody. Uh, there's an anointing uh, in your hand. Uh, open your hand. There's an anointing uh, in your hand. Uh, something is in this. Uh, you have something uh, in this. It's in this. It's in this. It is in this. It's in this. Uh, something is in your hand. Uh, Something is in this hand, in this hand, in this hand, in this hand, in this hand. Oh! Somebody bless the name of Jesus. There's something about the hands. Something about your hands. Something about your hands. There's something about your hands. Touch me. 
something about your heart. There's something about your heart. Yes. Yes. Clap your hands together. The Bible says these hands were made to war. You don't have to curse nobody. You don't have to quarrel with nobody. You don't have to speak no swear word to anybody. Then we come to church and pray for worship. When I'm trouble, you just start clapping. Just start clapping. Come on, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Your hands were made to love. Get out the quarrel. Just start clapping. And your battles will be won. Yes. Clap the hands, man. Clap them. And watch the deliverance come. Clap your hands and receive victory. Oh. Come on, clap them. What God come to? Your victory is in your prayers. Come on, church. Your victory is in your prayers. Come on, people of praise. Your victory is in your prayers. Come on, open your mouth uh, and praise God. Oh! Your victory. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Your victory. Victory. Somebody said, my victory, my victory, my victory is in my praise. In your praise. It's already there, tell the neighbor. It's already there. It's locked up in your praise. Tell the neighbor, your victory is locked up in your praise. You got to praise God. When I pray that praise, forget that deliverance. Huh? Come on, I said your victory uh, is locked up in your praise. Uh, so you got to open your mouth uh, and praise God. This it's there in your praise. It's there in your praise. It's there in your praise. Think in Psalms 61. I finished there. David said, Hear my cry. I beg unto my prayer. My God. Can I talk to somebody? I'm going to finish here. Open your mouth and say, Hear my cry. Hear my cry. Shout it one more time. Hear my cry. Oh God. Shout it one more time. Hear my cry, oh God. Shout it one more time. Hear my cry, oh God. Hear my cry, oh God. Attend unto my prayer. Wow. 
That in your home came out and praise him and declare it. So come down in a line. I hear we cry. Come down in my house and hear me cry. And then come and attend to my prayer. When God comes to attend to your prayer, he may stay far. But his hands are not sharp. He is not heavy. To listen to the cry of his people. That means God will walk down and come down right here where you are praying and start to mingle in your prayer and start to bring healing, start to bring deliverance, begin to bring peace, begin to bring joy, begin to bring comfort. Are you with somebody here? Here. 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 Open them out. Hear my cry. Hear my cry. Hear my cry. You know that song? Hear my cry, O oh Lord. Attend unto my prayer. Ends up be heard. When my heart. Be your heart get heavy and loaded. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. That is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me. And a strong tower. From the early when my heart is open, somebody to understand today. Maybe you're viewing online situation may seem hopeless. But today, you're telling you that God, through His Son, Jesus Christ, will come true for you. You're here today and you're overwhelmed with situation the cares and the problems and so on. He will come true for you. You have the authority today in the mighty name of Jesus. If you want to be prayed for this moment, move from where you are. Right? Come. We'll be close in the next five minutes. 
want to be prayed for. God will work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know, one thing I have found, God will work it out. God will work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know, one thing I found, God will work it out. I just want to tell somebody. God will work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know, one thing I found. the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. We know you will work it out. Hallelujah. We know you will come true. We know that you are the same God 
uh, who delivered the children of Israel uh, from the Goliath. Oh God Almighty, you are the same God who provided David uh, to kill a Goliath. Uh, I command in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that Holy Spirit uh, will kill every Goliath uh, in the south today. Uh, we pray for deliverance. Uh, we pray for miracles. We pray uh, that souls may be saved. Uh, we pray for those who are bondage. Uh, will be set free uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we declare salvation. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we declare renewal uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we declare every person will be touched by your power will be healed by your power. Be set free by your power. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done. And we thank you for what you'll be doing for us and trust now. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Come and clap your hands and say, receive such in Jesus' name. Rose, come back here, Michael and Justin. I just want you to go oh, move. Stand right here. You know, your, your pastor doesn't sing at when. But I just want to sing this verse. Like, where is where's this? He's an untied God. Yes, he is. He's so an untied God. Yes, he is. May not come. But if he be there, I don't die. He's a untied God. Yes, he is. Oh, he's a untied God. Yes, yes, he is. Oh, untied God. Yes, yes, he is. May not come. Joseph, he may not come when you want him. But he will be He's a long time
Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her. Somebody come. Somebody come and hold her and pray for her. Somebody work with me for the next few minutes. Lay your hands in and pray. Church. Church. Well, we're traveling, we're traveling rough and hard. Amen. Come on, somebody come and take this young one and pray for her also. Come on, we're to pray. Come on, somebody come right over here. Come, sister Chambers. Come. Hallelujah. 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 Pray, hallelujah. Pray this young lady. Hallelujah. That one right there. Hallelujah. Come, 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 come. Oh, hallelujah. Come. Hallelujah. Come and pray with this young lady. Come on. Somebody come and pray with her. Come quickly. Come and pray with this young lady. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Jesus, 
Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And the rest of what you know, your heart can begin to pray. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and begin to talk to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you. Oh, we bless Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, give the Lord praise. Yes, ma'am. Bless you. You're a Christian, ma'am. Today, I give you Jesus. That's all I can give to you. If you, today, if the Lord has touched your heart, today, 
uh, you may